Shalom, first of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechakodash, and double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, Ruel. Peace and salutation, all sincere Achim, that, of course, risking their lives and their freedom to bring out this Amas with the truth of the scriptures. I'm the brother Mappa from Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in Great Babylon, which is America. Coming again with another lesson due to Rechakodash, which is the Holy Spirit. It reads here off of rtnews.com, Trump regard, or Trump canceled Pompeo, which is Mike Pompeo, I believe. North Korea's trip to send warmest regards to Kim. So you have it here. President Donald Trump has canceled State Secretary Mike Pompeo's upcoming trip to Korea, North Korea, that is, due to take place next week. The president cited a light, lack of progress towards denuclearization when he announced the cancellation. Now, of course, if you go into the history, you have North Korea, which they have been in talks with America to denuclearize, which that means to um, completely get rid of their nuclear weapons, which the nuclear weapons are in the Bible and the scriptures, which is going to bring forth the destruction, which Yahweh Shem Shai set up these nations to possess them to what bring forth his judgment to these different nations now we're going to go to the book of proverbs 21 and 21 it says the king's heart or the malak all right the hebrew word for king is malak heart lob is in the yad uh, or hand of the lord as the rivers of water he turneth it Wheresoever he will. So the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is controlling all of these kings. Their minds and all. It says every way of man is right in his own eyes. But Yahweh pondereth the hearts. So Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is there. And he knows the hearts of these men. He's of course created all of the men that are of course a part of the, of the earth. Or upon the earth. And you know, of course, he's controlling everybody as a master chess player. He's the Almighty, Yahweh, well, Yahweh Shai. Now, um, going on to it, it says in a series of tweets Friday, Trump said that significant or sufficient progress towards denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula was not being made. And blame China for hindering progress due to ongoing trade spat between Washington and Beijing. I mean, you go into the different trade wars, which that's only hurting America. When you go into it, you know, Donald Trump thinks that this is doing something to help America. But in the long term, it's going to destroy America. Which, I mean, really, the, the, the so-called white man, he's in straits. And he only got a short time anyway, so... It's um, quickly bringing forth this economy to, to move forward its impending crash. It's imminent crash, which uh, that's the word. It's going to happen. It just has its appointed time. It says I have Donald Trump. This is a tweet. It says I have asked State Secretary Mike Pompeo not to go to North Korea at this time because... I feel we are not making sufficient progress with respect to denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. I mean, they want them to get rid of all their nuclear weapons. Which, they would be foolish to do so. Yahweh Bashim Shah gave them these nuclear weapons, alright, to destroy America. That's why North Korea has it, and that's why they can do what they um, want. Because they have these ICBMs, that's why they are a threat to America. Now let's uh, go to uh, the book of Joel, the 21st chapter, or Slach, the, the, the second chapter started the first verse. It says, uh, blow ye the trumpet in Z Zion, or to Zion, which is uh, dealing with Israel, all right, monument, memorial, okay, that's what we are. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain, which we, the prophets of Yahweh by Shem are set to, of course, put that different warning to let you know what the times are ahead. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of Yahweh cometh. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High, it means He is, He exists. 
for it is nigh at hand, is near. A day of darkness and glo of gloominess, a day of clothes and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains. A great people in a strong, there hath not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as a garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen so shall they run. And this is dealing with the ICBM, the nuclear missiles. Okay, this is uh, you have this prophet here. Joel explaining it. All right, getting of course you know vision. It says, like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains, shall they leap, like the noise of a flame of fire that devoured the stubble, as a strong people set in a battle array. Before the face, the people shall be painted. All faces shall gather dark blackness. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb. The wall like men of war, and they shall march every one of his ways, and they shall not break break their ranks. Which this goes into what these nuclear missiles are going to do, right? The Lord put um, Jim or what's his name, Kim Jong Un, in the spirit to not, of course, denuclearize the, the, his nation. To to be not compliant with America. Because it's going to bring forth his, his uh, these devils, the proud, um, which is the so-called white men, and they should eat them. It's going to bring forth their, their destruction. We're going to go into this word here, which is ranks here in the Hebrew. Ibariath, it says, uh, ah, a rah. All right, you got a ah, a ra, and a kha. A kha, get it? All right. So understand. Their ranks, which it means their path. So these nuclear missiles, once they're shot, they're not going to go off and 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 um you know they get intercepted by any um missile de defense systems and such. They're not gonna uh, get shot down and all that. We're gonna go into it just to break break it down precept upon precept, line upon line here a little there a little, so you can get some understanding. This is out of the book of Second Edges, the sixteenth chapter, starting at the seventh verse. Which um, reads here. May one turn a, turn again the arrow that is being shot from a strong archer. And one word that sticks out is the word arrow. Which these ICBMs, that's a cold name for them here written. This You know, of course, um, there wasn't a, a, a word ICBM or nuclear missile back in the ancient world. So these prophets wrote them and described them as what they thought they were. All right, the best of their ability, which we have here, arrow, that is shot of a strong archer. The mighty Lord sent it the plagues, which is the curses. And who is he that can drive them away? Right, so it's the Lord that's going to send these ICBMs. All right, as it's written, you know, the Lord create light and he create darkness. You know, the Lord does both good and evil. All right. It says a fire shall go forth from his wrath. And who is he that may quench it? He shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? The Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash, shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? The earth quaketh, and the foundations thereof, and the sea ariseth up with the waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also before the Lord. And before the glory of his power. For strong is his right hand that beneath the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp. These missiles. Okay. And they shall not miss. When they begin to be shot. Into the ends of the world. Because ICBMs go from one continent to another. That's why they're called intercontinental ballistic missiles. They want, is there any missiles be shot from North Korea. From one of the nations. Missiles from Russia. 
all right missiles from uh the different uh nato the um you know when you're going to it because the, the 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 beast is of course uh nato and the eu all right these different nations they're gonna shoot their missiles they're gonna go go against the whore and shoot their missiles upon it burn it with fire you can read that i believe in the book of revelations Verse 14, Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. So, you know, these missiles are not going to break their ranks so that you can understand. You know, so when it says that here in the book of Joel, the, se uh, the, this, this, uh, the second chapter in the seventh verse, all right, that that precept right there in uh in the book of Second Edges, the 16th chapter, those precepts line up. So you know this is a moth, which is the truth of the Bible, and the so-called white man has been lying the whole time, okay? Because he's saying, of course, here that he Trump, however, sent his warmest regards and respect to Kim and said Pompeo looked forward to going to North Korea in the near future once the current U.S. trade dispute is resolved, which you know, how is that going to be resolved? Trade wars become real real wars and such. And the next war is going to be fought with fire. All right? Burning in fire and such. Which you, uh, you know, um, I believe you could read that. Uh, I'm not sure if that's in the book of Isaiah. Um, say uh, of that. I just uh, kind of quoted it. But, um. It says uh, here, like, you know, I'm going to just go back just to stay on point with this lesson. It says uh, he sent his warmest regard. Now, we're going to go to the book of Psalms, the 55th chapter and the 21st verse. And it reads, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. But war was in his heart. And that's that's the nature of the so-called white man. He as he done to God, which is one of the nation, the tribes of the nation of Israel. All right. The so-called North American Indians. All right. He, of course, came to them. You know, he was very kind and, and was friendly to them. But he had nothing but war in his heart, in his mind. It says his words, or debarium, were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. So you cannot believe in this damn devil. Okay? We're going to go down to um, another scripture, which ups. I'm going to go to the, uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus. Let me go and get it. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus. I believe it's um, chapter 11 and verse 18. And it reads, There is that waxes rich by his wariness and pinching. Go into this word pinching. Pinching means to steal. Okay. You got it here. Pinch. Which uh, from this word here. Bakare to pierce. Meaning to steal. And that's what the so-called white man has done. He's done nothing but go and steal. It says English is from the 1650s sense of being stingy. The so-called white man, he hoards up everything to himself. Okay, so now going back on to it, to the scripture, to understand it. It says here, there is that wax is rich by his wariness and pinching. And this is the proportion our portion of his reward where as he said i have found rest and now will i eat continually of my goods and yet he knoweth not that time or what time shall come upon him and what he must leave to those things to others and die which when you go into it the so-called white man is going to leave his uh is is uh his this kingdom that's that's going to be brought down by the nation of Yahshua, starting by our Lord Yahweh Shai and the rest of the angels, and of course us being his battle axe, uh, the elect, they're gonna um bring this place down when of course given that green light. The the next rulership 
is by the nation of Israel. It's not China, it's not North Korea anyway. Even though you see that they have power, okay, through these ICBMs which they were given. Let's read, this is uh, the book of Second Edges, the 6th chapter and the 7th verse. And it says, and then said I, and said I, and said, what shall be the part and asunder of the times? You know, this different age right here are... When shall the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, this is the angel speaking to Edris, all right, who's a prophet. He said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Yaquab or Jacob, which means the planter, and Esau, I shall, which is the way is he, Joshua, where were born of him, Jacob's hand were f held first the heel of Esau, which symbolized, of course, him pulling down the rulership. Of Esau, all right. It says, "For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed." Who is, of course, the at, ruling right now, and that you notice the end of the world. Esau, who is the so-called white man. Donald Trump, he's of he's an Edomite of Adawam, all right. You know, he's of the nation of Edom, which means red. It says, "And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed." So you have to understand that these Moabites, you know, um, these uh, Koreans. They're not going to be the next rulers either. China is not going to be. They're Moabites too. They're not going to be the next rulers, all right, when you go into it. But you have to understand, you know, the point that I brought up, these certain precepts is that the so-called white man, you know, he can't, be, he can't be trusted. Simple as that. You know, he's looking, he say that he sends his warmest regards, but he's thinking of war in, the entire time in his heart. All right, now let's uh, just get through this, uh, this article and, um, you know, I may just uh, end up closing it off and going to another lesson because I originally did this lesson already, but it wasn't on record. And that's Shatan, Satan, spiritual demon just coming up against, you know, just a moth from coming out. Uh, but anyway, it says um, here that Pompeo's newly appointed representative to North Korea, Stefan Beijing, Begun, was due to accompany the Secretary of State Chairman Kim sign a vague comment toward to work toward towards denuclearization of North Korea when he met Trump in Singapore in June. When they agreed, signed by the two leaders, they did not specify the timeline of this, uh, when this would take place. And Pompeo said this month that it will, would take some time. And that, the ultimate timeline of denuclearization will be set by the chairman, Kim, and at least in part, the decision is his. Which, I mean... Kim Jong Un is not gonna give up these missiles. He's just buying time. Simple as that. Yahweh Shem Yashai got a appointed time for this to, of course, occur. This uh, missiles to be shot off. You know, the, the, the these 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 plagues to be released. All right. This war, World War Three. All right. It says since the trumpet or slack. It says since the summit, the North has made some. Consultatory gestures to the U.S. closing down some rocket test sites. So they, of course, uh, I believe we go into the. I've done lessons on it before. They shut down some of the doors of their different test sites, returning the remains of U.S. troops stuck in the country since the Korean War, and reportedly welcomed in the U.N. Aviation Agency. Yeah, that's basically it. Here, you know. The, you have it here. Trump cancels North uh, or cancels Pompeo's visit to North Korea, but sends the Ramos regards. You can't believe in this double. Simple as that. He cannot be Trump. I mean, he cannot be trusted. Simple as that. Um, let me see. Uh, this is uh, the book of Ah Yawab, twenty four and one. It says, "Why seeing times are not hidden from the Almighty? Do they that know Him not see His days?" All right. And, of course, who, who knows, of course, the, the, um, the Lord? Only the nation of Israel, starting, of course, at the with the elect. They know the Lord. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahushai Bahashem, Rechak Kodash. Simple as that. This is a, a scripture that, of course, um, backs it up. This is Joel, precept. Joel 2 and 27. It says, And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. The Lord is only dealing with Israel. All right? And that I am Yahweh and none else. And... My people shall never be ashamed. All right. You can read, of course, in the book of uh, Amos, you know, that the Lord, um, you know, he uh, 
I believe it. He got in there. He reveals his ser his uh, secrets unto his servants, the prophets. All right, which we're out there blowing that trumpet, letting you know that the day of uh, death and destruction is coming. All right, you have it here. Um, uh, Amos three and six. It says, "Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord hath not done it? Surely the the Lord, uh, the Lord Yahweh will do nothing but reveal his secrets unto." His servants, the prophets, which is, is his servants are only uh, Israelites when you go into it. Let me see. I got Isaiah. Let me see. Isaiah might be 45. Let me see. Uh, he, he, Lord only dealing with Israel. Simple as that. So, I mean, we, we, we know what time we're in. This is, uh, is, this is uh, Isaiah 45 and 4. It says, For Yaiqab, my servant, sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have call, even called thee by thy name and i have surnamed thee thou th though thou has not known me you know of course uh you have it where you know have our people have gone off we have gone off as a nation but we're being returned unto our lord yahweh shim yashah the elect or our the elect of them are, are returning onto them i'm going through that fire all right which they're going to literally go through that fire too with the icbms all right getting beamed up in a cob a chariot all right, a cloud, which is so-called UFOs. But anyway, I'm just going to close out uh, on that. Hopefully, we're edified. Yahweh Hashem Yashai Hashem Rechak Kodash. Shalak. Rayam. Wa. Mawath. La. Babal. Baba Kishah. Baba Kishah. Baba Kishah. The lot of them. Yad. All right. Uh, you know, uh, of course, asking Yahweh Hashem Yashai to bring death. All right. To this place, America. All right. Trump cancels uh, Pompeo, North Korea Trump uh, trip, but sent his warmest regards to Kemp. Can't trust his damn uh, devil. Simple as that. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.